So we're going to do a demonstration of the cover, uncover test, which is a very important test to check for a squint, differentiate between a squint and a pseudo squint. And first of all, we'll take the consent of the patient. We're going to test and check, check for your alignment. The, your consent will be sort of uh, having targets coming in front of you. Okay, so no pain involved in this procedure. So ask the patient to look straight ahead, keep looking straight ahead, and you need to see oh, what is the, the position of the eyes on a Hirschberg test uh, for a light. And if you look at this light, so this is for the air, and ask the patient to look straight ahead. So the light is falling central out of the pupil. So you know there's no um, uh, deviation at this side. So keep looking straight ahead at the fixation chart, cell chart. So we're going to do a cover test. So there's no deviation, so there's no movement in the eyes. So this is a cover test. And similarly, we do a cover test on this side. This is a cover test, so going in and un uncovering the eye. And whenever you're covering this eye, you're actually looking for the movement in the other eye. That is going to happen in a cover test. Similarly, when you go in, you're looking for movement on the left side. The second step is doing an uncovered test. When you do an uncovered test, so you have the eye here, and now you uncover the test. So you're going to look at the eye which you're uncovering. So you're actually going to see the right eye when you uncover this eye. So this is the uncovered test on this side. And similarly, so you do a cover is over here and you uncover and you keep looking towards that eye. So suppose the patient has an exophoria, so this eye will be going out. So as soon as you uncover this, that it will fix, take a fixation and the eye will move inward. So this is what you want to see. But in a cover test, when you do a cover test and this was exotropic, what will happen? You cover this eye and the other eye will take a fixation and come towards the center. So in a cover test, the other eye makes the movement, while in the uncovered test, the same eye makes the movement. So that is a very important differentiating step. And then you come in with an alternate cover test, which is going to tell you uh, if there's any phonia associated with this or not. So keep looking straight ahead at the fixation target and keep looking over there and you just quickly go from one side, go to the other side, go to this side, go to the other side. This is one way of doing it from the lower side. If you have a prism bar with you, it's better off just to do it over here. So, and the other thing which you need to know is try not to sort of touch the patient too much. And the speed of which you're doing with the alternative cover, some people keep doing it like this. So you need to give the other eye some time to fixate. So if you think the patient has a poor fixation, you just need to look straight ahead and then you go in, I rest, then go in, and then go in over here, then go in over here. So this is the speed which you typically would do an alternate cover test. So thank you very much.